If you're looking to skyrocket your productivity with Trello, look no further than this video. I'm gonna show you the seven must-have power-ups that can take your boards to the next level and save you time. Now, if you're not using power-ups, you're really missing out, but in this video, I'll guide you through adding them to your boards to get you up to speed. So let's get into it. The first power-up that can help you get the most out of your boards is dash cards. And you can see that the dash cards look very different from your standard card. The cool part about dash cards is they are dynamic and they typically are used to count how many cards are in a list or how many cards have due dates expiring this week. You can make dash cards count standard cards in a ton of different scenarios. Now, if I add a date to any of these cards and make it due this week, you can see the dash card has been updated with the new number of cards that are due this week. The cool feature here is that if I click on the dash card itself, I can see exactly what cards are due this week. The other dash card I have here shows how many cards I've been assigned to. And if I add myself as a member to more cards, you can see the number on the dash card has been updated. Now let's dive into how to set this all up. You're gonna start by going into power-ups and then click on the search bar and type in dash card. From there, you can see the dash cards power up and select add. From there, you can now see the track button at the top menu bar. Click on track and a ton of defaults will pop up. Let's run through these really quickly. The first preset dash card is assigned to me on all workspace boards, which will count all of the assigned cards to me within the workspace. The second one is due this week on this board, and I already have that on this board as well. This will count anything with a due date that falls within the next seven days of today's date. You have counted the cards with a red label, unassigned card on this board, due date cards on this board, and a ton of others, including one of my favorites is in this list, which counts all of the total number of cards within a Trello list. You have three different options on this menu. One, you can pick from one of these preset dash cards. Two, you can customize one of these preset dash cards for example, if you want to change the with a red label to with a blue label, hover your mouse over the card and click customize. From there, you would be able to change the label setting here in the menu. And then the third option is to create a card from scratch by clicking on the bottom right card and hit customize. From there, you can enter a name, change the background, and add all the criteria in terms of filters and customizations that you want. The second power up is countdown. Now, if you're already familiar with due dates on your cards, this can be a great addition to visualize how much time you have left to complete each task or project. This will help you quickly distinguish between tasks or projects that are most urgent. If you have a ton of dates on your board and cards in a ton of different lists, this can make it hard to make sense of everything. So the countdown power up solves this problem. Let's go ahead and add the countdown power up. Click on power ups on the top right corner and select add power ups. From there, you can enter countdown into the search bar and find the countdown power up. Click on add. Since this power up is not made by Trello, you will have to agree with a privacy by clicking on add. From there, all you have to do is exit out of the menu. Now let's add this to any card with a due date. You don't have to add this to every card, just the ones that you want. So click on the card that you want to apply the power up to. From there on the right hand menu under power ups, you can see the countdown button. From here, click on countdown and the menu will show a few different options in terms of customizing your timer. In this case, and in most cases, you're just gonna select the first option, which is set it from the card due date. So select the first option, and now you can see within the card, the countdown icon has been applied and it will show how much time you have left until the card is due. Now, you can also see that a target time has been added to the card as well. And in this case, the target time is the same as the due date, but it doesn't necessarily have to be that way. To change that, click on the target time and the menu will give you a few different options to change the target time. Let's say this project or task gets pushed up a few hours. Now you would want to select change target date and time. From there, you can change the calendar date and or the time with the box right here. Let's bump this up three hours and one day and then we'll click submit. And now you can see the timer is displaying a different time. Now, if you exit out of the card, you can see the timer on the front of the card. 
If you really want to highlight a countdown, you can also use the additional countdown feature. Click on the card that you want to highlight, then select the countdown button. From here, select pin countdown and then exit out of the card. Now you can see the countdown has been pinned at the bottom of the Trello board and now it's almost impossible not to keep this task or project top of mind. This is a great power up to help prioritize what is most urgent and pinning can help you stay on track with what's most important. Now, if you're looking to add reoccurring tasks within your boards, the power up that is a must have is called card repeater. For any task that you do week after week, this is the go-to power up. To add this power up, go to your boards and click on the power ups button in the top right corner and then click add power ups. Then click on made by Trello and find the card repeater power up. From there, all you have to click on is add and then from there, Trello will automatically add that power up to the board and you can exit out of the menu. Now that you're on the main board, you can see the card repeater button has been added to the top menu. Now let's say you want to repeat a card each week. For example, if you have to submit a weekly report or if you have a weekly meeting or maybe you have to post a certain piece of content each week, this is where this power up comes in. If you click into any card, you will see on the right, there is a repeat button. Click on that and a menu will pop up. Now you have a few different options when it comes to customizing how this card repeats. Click on the drop down, and then from there, you can pick weekly, monthly, or yearly. For this case, we're doing it weekly. Then you can pick the time in which the card repeats. For this example, I'll leave this as is. From there, you can pick which day or days the card pops up. So if you have a daily status report that needs to be submitted, you can click on every day, or in the case just once a week, you can select Tuesday. And then you can select how often you want it to repeat. For example, every week, every two weeks, every eight weeks, or so on. Now, if you click on month, you can select how many months you want it to repeat as well. And then finally, you select where you want this to appear on our board. When Trello creates this card automatically, what list do you want this card to show up on? You can select this list with the dropdown and all of your lists on this board will pop up. From there, you can select the position with this dropdown. If you select top, the card will show up on the top of the list, but you can also select bottom as well. From there, all you have to do is hit save. Now, every single week on Tuesday at noon, this card will be created. This is great for not having to create the same cards over and over, week after week, month after month, and year after year with reoccurring tasks. This eliminates so much of the busy work and will save you a ton of time. Now, if you have a Trello board with a ton of dates and due dates or deadlines, the calendar power-up is going to be the best power-up to add to your board. It's hands down the best way to visualize your workflow. Let's add this to the board. So start off by going to the power-ups button and click on add power-ups. From there, click on made by Trello. Once you find the calendar power-up, hit add and Trello will automatically add it to your board and you can exit out of the menu. Now you can see the calendar power-up button has been added to the top of the menu. Click on the calendar power-up and the calendar will pop up. Now only the cards that actually have due dates will be displayed on this calendar. And you can also drag and drop cards into different dates and the due date within the card will automatically be updated. This is great for optimizing your schedule when you're planning ahead or if your schedule gets busted and you have to rearrange things, you can easily do that as well. Now, if you want to add a card, you can do that from this view as well. Just click on the date you want to add the card to. From there, a menu will pop up and you can add the card. Now, the menu only has limited options, but if you need to add something quickly, this is the way to go. You can also toggle from month view to week view with these buttons here in the top right. So if you want to really focus on this week, click on the week button and you can see that a full week is being displayed. The last feature within the calendar view is the navigation buttons on the top left of the window. This is an up arrow and down arrow and a today button. Use these arrows to navigate through your calendar and if you ever wanna quickly return to today's date, just hit the today button and it will bring you back. That's really it when it comes to the functionality with the calendar power up. Again, it's a simple and effective way to manage all of your due dates and important upcoming events and projects. Now, if you run into an issue with the Trello board that just has a massive amount of cards or a ton of similar name cards, you can use the card numbers power up to uniquely identify those cards. This can be especially helpful when collaborating with a team. And if you have a ton of cards that look the same, this is how you're gonna easily tell the difference between them. So you can see the cards here are very similar from the front, but they actually have completely 
completely different checklists, attachments, and descriptions. So it can easily be confused with each other. Now we're gonna go ahead and solve that. So let's go ahead and add this power up. Click on the power ups button in the top right corner. From there in the search bar, click card number. From there, you're gonna find the power up called card numbers by Reenhanced. Click on add. Since this power up is not made by Trello, you'll have to agree to a privacy by clicking add. And from there, all you have to do is exit the menu. Now you can see a unique number has been added to each card. Now, when you're working with the team, you can just reference card number five, or you could say, give me feedback on card number 33. It's really gonna just help you avoid any communication issues, especially when there's a ton of cards. If you wanna remove the numbers, go back to the power ups button in the top right, find the card numbers power up in the drop down menu, and then click the settings button and then select disable. Again, this is a great power up for organizing all of your cards and uniquely identifying similar cards. For the next power up, let's say you open your board and you have a ton of the same tasks for multiple cards. Let's say you have to add yourself as a member to nine cards, or maybe you have to push due dates back on six different cards. Instead of clicking and opening every single card, which would take a ton of time, you can use the bulk actions power up. The bulk actions power up is gonna help you out tremendously. So let's go ahead and set this up. Go to the power ups button on the top right hand corner and click on add power ups and then go to the search bar. Type in bulk actions. From there, click on the add button. And since this power up is not made by Trello, you'll have to agree to the privacy by clicking on add. From there, all you have to do is exit out of the menu. Now you can see the bulk actions button on the top of the menu has appeared. Click on the bulk actions button and the bulk actions menu will pop up. Now you're gonna see the same Trello board as your normal board, but the main difference is there is a checkbox on the top right of each one of your cards, and there's a checkbox on the top of each list. Now, if you wanna push the due dates out on all the cards on this list, I can just click on the checkbox above the list and you can see all of the cards have been selected with a green check. Now you can also click on the check boxes individually as well. So let's change the due dates for four different cards. Select the cards you wanna change first, and then you can see on the top of the menu, you have a few different options to change just about anything on the cards. So custom fields, copy, members, due date, and a few other options. In this case, let's select due dates and a menu will pop up. The first thing you wanna select is the date checkbox. And then from there, you can have all of them changed to a fixed due date or push them all back a few days by a certain time period. Let's say we wanna push all the dates back by three days. You can click shift by and then select from months, weeks, days, hours and minutes. Let's select days and make it three. From there, it will give you a preview below of the new due date. So just double check that before you go ahead and change a bunch of dates. Once everything is set, click on change the due dates and everything will change. But we also have the option to select change due dates and keep selection. This comes into handy if you have other bulk changes you want to do with all the cards that you currently have selected. This will prevent you from having to go back and select all the cards over again. In this case, let's just select change with due dates and you can see the power up will automatically change the dates. Now you can also see that the dates have been pushed back three days. From there, you can select more cards and explore other changes you can make from the menu above. Once all the changes are made, exit out of the power up menu by clicking the X in the top right corner and then you're back to your main Trello view. Now this power up might not be needed in your daily workflow, but if you're working on a project, this can be very valuable and save you a ton of time. One of the biggest frustrations within a workflow is a stage where things tend to bottleneck. Maybe one part of your workflow is consistently overflowing with tasks and to-dos and just becomes overwhelming. The way to solve this problem is with the list limits power up. Now this is gonna make sure you don't have too many cards in one particular list within your workflow. So let's go ahead and add list limits power up to the board. Click on power ups on the top menu and then click on add power ups. From there, click on made by Trello and find list limits and then select add. From there, exit out of the power ups menu. Now to apply the power up to a list, you're going to click on the three dots on the top right side of the list you want to apply this to. From there, the menu will have an option called set list limits. From there, a menu will pop up where you can set the exact amount of cards you want to limit on this list. 
Let's go with five cards as the limit. And then from there, you can just click on save. Now you can see the top right corner, the list will display a fraction. The first number is how many cards are in the list. And the second number is the limit of how many cards we can put on the list. Now, as you add and remove cards onto the list, you can see the numbers will change. Now, in the case you add more than the limit, let's say the limit is five and we add six cards to the list, the entire list will turn yellow. This allows you to quickly visualize any potential bottlenecks. In this case, maybe you would wanna complete something or move it to the next phase of the workflow or even pull something back to the previous stage of the workflow. This power-up is extremely simple and can be a powerful tool to keep your workflows from getting backed up. I hope you find these power-ups helpful and find ways to incorporate them into your workflow. I guarantee by adding at least one of these to your boards, you're gonna level up your productivity and ability to get things done. Now, I have a ton of other Trello resources like a course and templates listed in the description below, but if you're still looking to level up your Trello skills, check out this Trello playlist I put together teaching you all the Trello basics so you can get more done in less time with less stress. But until next time, stay productive.